do feel that if you can, please wait until after Mercury in retrograde in order to start this new project because this is a, a blockage here. You know, the Judgment card is also the card of new beginnings. The timing is not quite right just yet. So um, if this was something that was formulated during the time of Pisces, I do feel that Pisces being a water sign, um, things might be a little bit shaky, okay? So the pieces might not all fit just yet. So I do want you to wait until, you know, try to do it after the Mercury um, retrograde is completely, like the planet is completely out of its uh, shadow period. So even like the last week of June, that would be more favorable for you, okay? So let's see what the rest of the cards have to add. I have the Nine of Swords here in the upright position and then Ten of Wands. So a lot of you might be dealing with quite um, a bit of emotional upheaval in your life and you're going to be dealing with this through this month as well. So let's see here. Finances are looking good here. Um, and I do see you moving forward with this. You're moving forward with this towards the very last week of this month. And that's actually the best time to do it when Mercury is completely out of its shadow period. Okay, so let's go through the cards here. Um, so this is the first energy that I am picking up, okay? So a lot of you might have recently relocated, might have changed house, might have moved out or moved into a different house that uh, where you're currently living and things are not working out too well so you might have to take a second move if you are doing this like during you know mercury in retrograde it's usually like when people move houses they will find out that the new living situation is not as favorable as they as they have previously thought so they're going to move somewhere else okay so be very careful with this energy at least you know if you've done it during the mercury in retrograde which is from May 18th and it's going to continue into June 11th. Be very careful and don't unpack your boxes yet because you might have to move again, unfortunately. So that's something that is coming in very early on. This card is also indicative of a, you know, a family relationship. This could also be a marriage situation in the reverse position. It indicates to me changes within the physical structure of the home. Or relationships in this situation it is more indicative of relationships okay so relationships possibly falling apart because we have the nine of swords here which indicates you know sadness and grief also um, relation old relationships are falling apart you might move forward with a new relationship and it's being stalled because of Mercury in retrograde. So those are the two ways in which that situation can play out. For those of you who are not dealing with this in a relationship, in a romantic type of setting, this is the physical structure as well. In a work environment, I do feel there are some upheaval, some sense of like um, constant change in your physical structural environment. So that can also be something that is problematic that you're going to have to deal with. And... Um, new situations cannot come in. So for example, if you're working at an um, organization and they're trying to change like their office and they're trying to get all the paperwork in order and the other side is kind of like stalling their um, communication mishaps, for example, and then this new um, office is not going to manifest itself until the very end of this month and then you move office, okay? So you're basically moving your little cup over to the new office and um, the financial payout is going to come with that so there is like green light energy so this is basically telling you to wait a period of three weeks here in the last week is when things will start happening for you and I do see the energy is being echoed in this card here so movement slow movement nonetheless but it, it's movement movement is going to happen the very very last week of this month okay so it, overall that looks very favorable so you have like um the planning stages and then you have movement finally finally coming in the end of this month so if there's something that you are waiting on it is going to happen okay it is going to happen but it is going to happen in its own time so you know be careful about that one other thing i really enjoy about this spread is that um we only have one court card which is more you than another person and because there are no other court cards 
you're not going to be dealing with other people in a very intimate way is what I'm sensing here. So the other people are not going to rattle your cage. They're not going to be problematic, okay? Um, at the same time, we still have the same energy, which is, you know, laying low and being very um, meticulous about how you want to proceed, okay? This is taking time off for introspection, for rest, for recuperation. And a lot of you too are kind of like, um, you're going deeper into yourself to figure out what it is that you want and what it is you want out of life, out of work, out of relationships. And then because you're able to do this, you are able to emerge from it and you're able to see how you can implement whatever it is that you've spent time mulling over, cultivating. You're able to do it in the real world, okay? So once again, this is a very, very good spread for you. Um, don't be discouraged the first week. Um, I would say like the first week and a half of the month. You might feel a little bit discouraged because of all the work and all the uh, energy that you put in to push for... Uh, projects forward. A lot of you might have like pulled all-nighters to finish wrapping up, you know, like uh, financial projects. And then in the middle of the month, you see this massive financial windfall. And once this windfall comes in, then you can move ahead with the rest of the projects. Then you can move ahead with the rest of your life. Okay. So this energy looks very, very good. Um, the first, like I mentioned, week and a half is going to be problematic. Make sure you get adequate rest. Make sure you don't procrastinate either and try to finish things up in a timely manner so that you are able to reap this benefit, okay? And the sooner, as soon as this financial windfall comes in, I do feel there's a drastic turnaround in the energy for the rest of this month. So if you feel like you are kind of like hitting a brick wall and you don't know where to turn, just know that, um, you know, the signal for you that you're on the right track is going to be right around the corner. So don't get discouraged and just hang in there a little bit, okay? The work needs to be done. Either way, don't procrastinate on it is what I'm sensing here. And um, I'm trying to see, for those of you who are, um, okay, so this is probably the only problematic thing that I am sensing in this spread here. So you have the Nine of Swords, which is, you know, a lot of mental energy and it's a uh, mental energy keeping you up at night. It's something that you're not able to get over. So it could be tied to a relationship with another person. It could be tied to a business project. Maybe you work um, in an on-call type of setting. So then you can't get adequate sleep and, you know, your pager or your phone goes off like in the middle of the night and you have to like... Um, get up and go and, you know, handle your business. So that's one way that that can play out. For those of you who are not dealing with this in a work setting, what I am sensing is it could be a romantic situation as well because sword energies tend to be a little bit scary, okay? It's, it's hurtful. And um, if you are, for example, let me see here. Okay, so if you are in a relationship and that relationship has fallen off, um, you know, has, um, didn't work out. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's this energy here. So in the past, a lot of you might be very concerned about your financial situation. For this month, you might, for the beginning of the month especially, you might have put, you know, romance and love and all of that good stuff on hold, mainly because you want to have a secure financial base first in order to provide for your loved ones, your partner, whatever it is he or she desires, okay? So this can play in, um, this can come in for male and female cancers. And what I am sensing is this financial windfall is finally, finally coming in. And because you now have that established that financial base, you want to go back to a previous situation with a lover or with somebody that you cherish a great deal and you want to make things work is what I'm sensing here. And if you were to do that, do it the very, very last week of the month. And I do feel that it's going to give you a very good results. You know, the thing is, um, we are ending with your card and you're coming and you're making a proposal 
And I feel that it is a love proposal to somebody in your midst, okay? So I am assuming that um, a lot of you might be going back to, like, somebody from your past. A lot of you might have, um, might have like, um, had a missed opportunities, had a miscommunication, or have let, like, someone slip through your fingers in the past. And you're giving, you're given by the universe a second chance, okay? So for those of you who are starting out like the beginning of this month and you're dating, you're single and you're dating, and for some reason the people you're dating, things just never got off the ground. And I do feel greatly things are not getting off the ground because they're not meant for you, first of all. And then secondly, there's something that you need to go back to. There is a previous situation that was never properly resolved that was actually very good for you and the other person was waiting for you, okay? So now that the financial windfall is here and you're in a good place and you're operating from a place of like higher vibration, you feel secure, you feel okay, and your heart chakra is stable, it's important for you to go back to that prior situation and see if you can rekindle. And I do feel it is a, a romance-related card. This is somebody that you care a great deal about they care a great deal about you because they are very hurt, you know, because things didn't work out that first time around, for example. Or they are in need of, you know, your support, but you were off pursuing your obligations. So you weren't available. So um, that's another way that that can potentially play out. If you are thinking about going back to it, going back to that situation, please do it at the... Um, end of the month okay and uh since we are ending on this i want to see what he's um i want to see what what it is that he or she you cancers are proposing like who it is that you're trying to reach out to okay so this is strange because we have two male energies but you know in these general readings they are going to be um male or female okay so so let's just say that um, I wanted to know, since we are ending on this, I want to know who it is that you are going back to or who it is that you are offering your all to, okay? And then we have this strange situation in which we have a male energy, but at the same time, it can be male or female. And you're dealing with a fire sign for a lot of you. I feel that you're dealing with a fire sign, like an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. If it's not a romantic situation, it's somebody in a, a position of authority, of the in a position of power, you are reaping, you're basically like putting your eggs in one basket and offering up, offering them up to this person on a silver platter. Okay, so you're on your best behavior and this person is sitting back and making sure that you do the work, okay? So for those of you who are dealing with this situation in a romantic uh, way, I would say that, um, you know, this this person is actually very righteous, okay, and um, they will reciprocate. So whatever hard work that you're putting in, they understand it and they will reciprocate for you, okay? So I'm going to put this aside mainly because I just want to know who it is that you are trying to approach and what it is that you're trying to offer. A lot of you might also be pitching like a new project, for example, if you're self-employed and you want funding. This is also a person in which you can approach like a business partner and um or like a, a sponsor or like a even like a, an investor an investor because this is a card of an entrepreneur fire signs are extremely entrepreneurial and um they grab good ideas and they run with it okay whereas like for as a water sign you are kind of like um kind of sh commitment shy so you're approaching this and you're looking for an investor and this person is going to grab whatever it is that you give them and they're going to run with it and it's corroborating the same type of energy. There is something that you are trying to get off the ground, okay? This is a new important milestone in your life. There's a period of like uncertainty and, and suspension here in which you have all these good ideas. The ones are like projects. This is the one that, um, so out of these three ideas, for instance, you are very, very confident about the long-term potential of this one project, and you need the right investor in order to get it off the ground, okay? So this whole month is going to be centered around this one project. It's going to require that you stay up late, first of all, 
that you take care of all the loose ends to make sure this one project has sustaining power, okay? And then towards the end of the month, your angel comes in, you know, your investor comes in. So that's one major way that this can play out. So you're kind of like going around pitching to people and then new beginnings are not happening because that angel investor is not there. And then you're like very sad over it. And then you're going back to work through the kings. And you might even like um, in the process of wrapping up loose ends, you might realize that, you know, you the investment itself might be less than what you had originally estimated. So as a result, you're reworking this, you know, structure of it. And then you're waiting, waiting, and then finally the investor comes at the end of this month, okay? So that's another way that that can play out for you in the work environment. Overall, I am not getting a very romantic ambiance with this spread, but I do feel that it can um, bring about like a situation towards the end of the month in which you are offering somebody something, and it is a, a cup energy. So that in itself is like something that you are emotionally very, very invested in, okay? So um, based on the busy energy for this month, I would say, you know, really take time to spend with your loved ones, especially for those of you who are in relationships. OK, so um, I do feel a little bit of emotional neglect, probably emotional neglect, neglect due to the fact that you're just very busy. So you might not have time for finance and, you know, money is on your mind. So just take the time and really spend it on your partner if you have this financial windfall um, take your lover your date your spouse whoever it is out on a date it's a really good time to do it actually even um, despite the mercury in retrograde because it's actually a very good time to rekindle the romance okay so um, pay attention to your partner I feel like they might feel left out by the wayside okay so overall cancers I hope you have a wonderful month